Hello everybody and welcome to another Matplotlib video and our little Matplotlib mini series for Python 3. In the last video I showed you guys how we can use styles and in this video I want to show you guys a few more customization that styles isn't necessarily going to help you very much with uh, and that's uh, with adding in legends. So when you plot there's all kinds of values that you can stick in here. Um, X, Y, color can always be in this order. So if you remember back to our uh, series about what order uh, do you put values in when you call functions. Now, the matplotlib is highly customizable, so there's a lot of stuff that we can do with matplotlib. Uh, so there's in each of the functions, like plot, the plot function, there are just so many things that you can do with it and so many parameters that you can pass through. X, Y, and color are the first ones, but then there's a whole bunch of other ones, so that's why we've specified line width equals what. Um, and then now we're gonna specify even further a label. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and say, so line width equals five, uh, and then we're gonna say label equals uh, line one, and then we'll come down here and we'll say label equals line two. So now we've got some labels but we can see here if we save and run that, uh, nothing actually changes you know, in our chart. We don't really see anything. So now let's go ahead and do one more thing and let's add a legend. So underneath all the labels, you can pretty much put this anything after you've made all your plots, but we just basically wanna do plt.legend. And what legend is gonna do is just, it's just gonna call the legend to show up. So now we've got the legend, we can see that not only does the color and the, uh, the label come through, but even you can see the line thickness has come through. Um, so anyway, uh, that's how you can get a legend. Uh, there are ways to move the legend around. You can specify the location of the legend and all of that. Now, um, for now, we'll just leave it up there. Finally, uh, the other thing I wanna show you guys is grid lines. So as you can see, this chart naturally has a grid line to it because we're using styles. Uh, we can come up here, comment out style. And we see that actually by default, there is no grid being shown to us. So we can close out of this and we can come down here to plot.legend and we can call grid. So we can say plt.grid and then first parameter is whether or not it's true or false. We want to say it's true. And then the next thing that we'll say is we want to specify the color. Now you can have all kinds of colors for the grid. For example, we could use G for green. Um, and it actually doesn't look too bad because it's dotted. <laughs> but uh, we can come back over here and most people are gonna use probably K, which is black. And we'll save and run that again. And then so now you see we have the grids. Um, it could be useful to note though uh, the following. So as you can see here, the grid is going over it. Now if you remember, everything comes in the order that you call it. So we've drawn the grid really last. So the question is, can we move the grid above the plots? Because grid isn't like the legend. It doesn't require any prior data. So what if we did that and we save and run it and we plot it and we see that no, the grid always is going to go over the data. Okay. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to show that because if you plot, see like line two is above line one because line two was drawn second. And then really the legend is above all else because the legend was drawn uh, last. Oops. Anyway, just wanted to cover those things. So that's going to conclude this tutorial on uh, those things that I wanted to cover here. Uh, still got a couple more things that I want to show you guys with Matplotlib, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.